Hi, my name is Gary. I'm with Successful Gardens, and today we are going to prepare an elephant ear bulb for winter harvest. Just recently, we've experienced our a killing frost. Uh, in fact, earlier in the week, we even had snow. Um, it was kind of interesting to see these big elephant ears um, hold the snow and it wasn't, wasn't until a day later that they started to turn brown, wilt, and look really sickly. Rather than just letting the bulb die and rot um, in this pot over the winter months, I'm actually going to harvest it and prepare it so that it can hibernate um, if you will, or store over the winter months. And then come springtime, about April, I will be able to plant it again in a pot so that it will grow and then be nice and lush, ready to set outside. But what I'm going to do, what I have to do now to prepare it for uh, winter storage is I will go ahead and cut these thick um, stems off and I will actually dig the bulb from the pot, um, pulling it out of the pot, and, and then checking the health of the, of the bulb, making sure that there's um, not any rotten um, or diseased portions on that bulb. And then if it is in good condition, I'll be able to store that and, and use it again and regrow it come spring. So let's, let's dig it out. So I'm pulling off, cutting off these thick stems. Um, these stems, holy cow, they are, are thick. This is where um, this knife I actually use, it's a, officially it's a linoleum or a carpet knife. Um, but I use it in the garden quite often. Um, I use it to cut sod, um, but as you can see, it comes quite handy in cutting off thick vegetative stems off of plants. You can actually see the top of the bulb, and oh, it's kind of soft. So we'll, we'll check this out. I might actually have to dump it out on, onto the table to, to really get good access to it because I know I've had some roots growing through the bottom of the pot, so um, through those drainage holes. But so, so let's, let's see where we go with this. Oh wow, look at those roots. Well, that's, that's gorgeous. That definitely. Now this bulb that I originally started with was was like a softball, but holy cow, this this root ball is. I'm just gonna end up pulling it all the way out of the pot. So, all right, here we go. There's the root ball. With all of these secondary roots, we need to try to clean those off. And so I will just go ahead and remove those with my pruners. You can see that what the original bulb started off as, like I said, it was about the size of a softball. Now feeling it, we're still, for the most part, we're still nice and firm. However, I do have a couple of soft spots um, and that could very easily cause um, be some rotting tissue um, as you as I peel back this outer covering I can see um, the damage that this um, rotting rotting tissue has and that's again where this knife comes into play um, I'm going to try to save the original bulb see if I can get it to grow for next year but what we have to do, we have to do a curing process before I can actually store this, this bulb. And, um, oh wow, there's some new starts even on the bottom. So yes, I really wanna try to save this, but I've gotta take some precautions to do this. In the curing process, um, I need to 
um, let this dry, usually at room temperature. In this process of letting it cure, um, what I need to do is trim away some of this rotting um, tissue. And so with my knife, I'm going to carefully, um, oh, this is gross. Um, take this apart to where I'm trying to get down into this healthy tissue. It's going to look like the flesh of a potato. And so I'm hoping, uh, yeah, I should be able to, to have a fair amount of this. Now, this rotting is, is normal. Um, it happens, and so on, quite common. Um, but you want to be careful uh, when you are storing your tissue or your bulbs is that, that you don't have any infected tissue um, going into that storage process or it will just rot, continue the rotting process during the winter months or, or during its storage time. So you want to make sure you get all of that tissue off. And that's one of the benefits about the curing process. Now you can see that this flesh inside of this bulb is just very similar to the tissue of a potato. Um, and so, all right, I think I have all of the, the tissue, the bad tissue. Now this, will, this is gonna be an experiment of, of seeing if I'm going to get this to store, but I believe that I do. Fingers crossed, I'm going to get this to store. Now because I have exposed such tissue with this, the curing process, keeping it in room temperature, allowing it to dry, this will callus over and that will help create a scab, if you will, in, and that will protect it. So now for the curing process, I'm gonna let it sit out for about a week's time, seven to 10 days, and that will allow this to, to callus over and, um, and then I can store it. And in that storing process, I will use a dry media such as shredded newspaper. And I like using shredded newspaper. There always seems to be a supply of that at my house. Um, you can use pine shavings. Um, make sure, it, but the most important thing is, is that it's dry. Um, if you use dried peat moss, um, that's fine. Dried, very dry potting soil. Um, that would also be good. You just don't want it to be heavy. You just want to be able to cover the plant, put it in a box or in a paper sack um, for the winter months, and you're good to go with that. So with the storing process, I have just a flat box. I'm gonna be able to store that because of the moisture still that's in that soil that I couldn't clean off. Um, I'm just gonna set it um, in, in, a, in a box, and then that way it will, um, it will, continue to, to dry and cure um, for about seven to 10 days. And then I will be able to have a, be ready for storage, for, for winter storage. I'm gonna magically advance 10 days. So now I would transfer it from this box, ready to go into my storage box, my winter storage box. And all I've done is, there again, I just got a shipping box that I've had. Um, since I only have one elephant bulb, um, this will fit too. This is kind of gonna be tight, but I can make it work. I'll take some shredded paper, put it in that box, and then taking the cured bulb, I'm placing it inside this box. After covering it, close the top right on it that what it is and set it in a dark, cool um, spot in your house and then it will be ready to plant come springtime. 
If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please take the time and do so. I appreciate everything that you do. I appreciate your comments um, that you have shared before with on past videos. Until next time, this is Gary with Successful Gardens. And remember, let's get growing.